Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is for those that have expressed um, their concerns with the uh, DJI Pavo Pico, the issues you're having with uh, getting it to arm. And as you saw, um, as you will see, it's just an issue. Um, and why, I don't know, but I can help you troubleshoot to fix. So um, I'm gonna show you the first half, that you, you steps you can do to troubleshoot. You actually see my drone doing the same thing that you guys um, experience. Okay, so let's have a look. This is for those that have the Pavo Pico and are having issues with the um, the Pico, Paco, it's just going loco. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what's happening with mine and some of the viewers actually have it happening with theirs. Um, so, let me just, all right, so I have the remote, right? And then I'm gonna go left, see? Only two propellers are moving, and then the other propeller is moving. It's just sometimes this happens, why? I can't explain, but there's a fix for this. So if I put the throttle down, and still nothing, okay? See, look, but if I go left, it goes left. If I go right, now I get nothing. Probably because the, um, oh, it's still on. Okay, so that's not the case. Let's see. Nope, so now, uh, now, I see, oh, I lost it because it overheated. All right, so I'm just going to talk to you about the issue. This is normal. I mean, it's not normal. I, I wouldn't want any drone to, to do this, but it seems to be normal. It happens a lot. And so what I tend to do is, this is what I do. And remember, this is the one with the GPS and you guys are having this similar issue with the other unit. So what you could do is, right? You know, wow, that's really hot. You could unplug it, okay? And then wait a little bit for it to cool down. Uh, and when it cools down, um, sometimes it comes back. Another solution could be, let me just shut off my headset. Another solution could be that um, sometimes you do a reset by flipping these, right? A little bit. Just do that a couple of times, that resets it. I've tried this, pressing the start stop button, that resets it, okay? But another issue, and I mean another solution is we'll shut this off, and what we'll do is we'll connect it to the computer, and then um, I'll show you another fix. And you don't have to take the drone apart for the next solution. But remember, I'm gonna have my GPS configuration. So you'll have to do this with the configuration that you have without the GPS. Okay, or if you have the GPS, you can still follow the same directions. Okay, so that's one possible fix. You know, just toggling, pressing the buttons many times until the drone actually makes a nice connection, says, hey, I like you. And then, you know, things just work. The other thing is, Connect it to your computer. You don't have to take it apart. Okay, just leave it like that. For me, that I have the GPS on it because as I put it on, um, I'll leave the link to that video down below if you want to do that. But um, either way, it doesn't matter. And it, the battery doesn't have to be in um, connected. So that's great too. So you're not tied like, oh shit, I got to do it before the battery burns out. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to launch Betaflight. It's just a simple fix. And then when you launch it, you want to go, well, when it does launch, hopefully it'll launch. Okay. Slowly. Any minute. Any day. Hopefully it works because I'm using about this Mac um, Sonoma with the latest build 14.0. And as you can see, let's try that again. Please work. Ah, there we go. So once it launches, if it launches, you go to connect. And as you can see, my drone is working. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to CLI, right? Um, hopefully you already have your settings um, saved. I have mine saved, but um, what you could do is, and as you can see, I have the gyro, acceler accelerometer, barometer, and GPS. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to go to the OSD. Oh, wow, disconnected. Connect, go into my OSD. There we are. And then there was something missing on my, I'm just adding um, something, a feature, just to, you can add or take away a feature for me. I'm going to, um, if I 
can find it. Temperature. Um, it's down there. Timer. Um, throttle. PID. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to select ESC temperature. Okay. So I'm going to select there and there. So I'm going to select all three and see what shows up. Um, and it's right here. See that? So I'm going to put that. Sometimes I like to keep that in the middle. Um, just so I. And of course, with the low battery voltage thingy. Okay. And then there. With the voltage. So you can see when it's. Whoops. When it's about to cook. Because this thing can cook. Any minute. So sometimes it's counterintuitive. That's about right. That looks about centered, do you think? Um, and then maybe one more. There. I like, nope. I guess it was fine before. Let's bring it down one. There. So now that's centered, but now I'm just going to save that. But what you want to do is you want to have your settings backed up. Okay. So when you go into here, right? Um, you can either load from file, save to file, but what we're going to do is we're going to type dump all. Okay. This is all the settings that I have, or you might have. Um, and I'm going to click, um, save to file. I call it, um, let's see, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it saved settings um, settings so I know what date because I have so many different versions September 8th right and I'm gonna save I could save it to Pablo Pico but I want to save it to the desktop um, I don't see my desktop oh it's right there and then save it okay and then you should have this file saved and then what will happen is um, you should be able to Okay, if I go back here, quick beta flight. Right, see, th th these are your settings right here. My save setting. Keep this in a safe place. Okay. Um, so, I find that works for me. Oops, I opened up the wrong one. I'm going to quit this. I'm going to open this up. Go here. Pavo. Pico. Um, firmware update. Okay. Oh, wow. I come up. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. I never thought I'd see myself in a internet search. That is pretty cool. It's impressive. All right. So, um, wow. Look at that. <laughs> I made it on an internet search. <laughs> I'm a somebody. All right. All right. So what you're going to do is click there and you see here, you have your different firmwares. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the text file. For us, it's a 2.4 gigahertz. That's if you have the Pablo Pico. Check your order. Whatever you ordered is what you're going to follow. For me, I'm going to take the Pablo Pico, um, what is it, 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, I'm going to select it. It downloaded. Okay, I'm going to go to the downloads folder. And see, it's right there. I just downloaded it. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to do command all copy all now look at this blue lights flashing it's great right I don't know if you can see it but the blue light is on but it won't be any longer so now I'm going to go into launch beta flight why this works I don't know but I just know I'm just experimenting with it I'm going to click connect and then um, I'm going to go into the CLI now I'm going to copy what I just copied from the text file. Okay. Paste it in. Hopefully. Yep. It's all there. And I'm going to select pre press enter or return on your keyboard. And it's going to feed it everything. And you'll see that blue light go out because it's going to wipe all the settings and restore it back to default to the beginning of time when, um, or when the blue light is staying on. Okay. I'm going to click connect. But as you can see, there's no GPS because by default, everything wet 
oh, the blue light's on only because there's power running through it, but you don't see the blue light here because you know why? I'm back um, in its original settings. Like you can see the OSD is empty. Um, the module, the um, quad X is fine, but as you can see right here, um, that's fine, right? That's fine. Um, so everything here is just as it, as it was. Modes, see? Modes somewhat stayed a little bit, but not really. Uh, receiver, see you, um, you are right. That changed because before this was, I think, S bus. Is that correct? Well, not here, but right here. Um, S bus, right? So you would have to change all that back, everything you had saved. But no, don't worry. So now what we're going to do is, if you have the file of all your configuration saved, like I showed you in the beginning, um, you're going to open up see saved from it says right there save settings September 8th now I'm going to copy all copy it close it keep it in a safe place keep an extra copy somewhere all right and we know that those settings work right and now I'm going to go here um, and as you can see it's uh, not S bus it's CRFS CRSF yeah the OSD is empty like where my well, somewhat empty okay Oh, this is probably like default. Well, oh, actually, it saved mine. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so because we want our other, our other settings back. See, there's no GPS. It's not it's not reading the GPS because look, if you go to um, ports and there, you might see something different, but it's just not. Um, and there should be one for GPS. And I don't see. I just see VTX. And you see here, there's no GPS. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the CLI and paste in the settings that we had originally saved and press return, come back to me. And then of course the blue light is on because there's power running through it, but it's not the GPS configuration and settings aren't there. All right. Just doing its thing, zeros and ones and magic. Everything will just magically go back to the way it was. And this happens sometimes when you crash the drone. I've crashed a couple of times and then all of a sudden it's like left, right. It's like the drone doesn't know what it wants to do. Look at all those settings. And um, the fix for it, if there's another fix, another solution, please do share. Um, you know, why this happens, I don't know. I guess that's why it's called Beta uh, Pablo Pico because it's in its infancy, infancy stages. All right, so now you're like, Pray it works, right? All right, so now I'm gonna click connect because I presume it said successfully closed. See, um, and my GPS is there. And if I go into configuration, um, that's there, that's there, presets, PID tuning, receiver, see? And S bus is there. So now my settings are reloaded again. Um, and if I go into modes, see? My settings are there because before if you go back and rewind and press play, none of this was there. So it saved all my settings. I saved all my settings. I reloaded them again. Uh, motors, OSD, um, that should save. That was weird how that was there before though. Um, video transmitter, etc. So it's all there. So now we're back hopefully to a clean state slash slate. And now I'm going to disconnect this thingy. You always gotta keep this thing handy because you never know when you have to reset the settings. And sometimes just by adding a feature to the OSD and pressing save does the same thing that we just did without having to do all the data dump. All right, so now let's try this and see if it works. I just have to hurry up because the Osmos action is overheating, which is a bummer. I think it's about 71 degrees in here. 71 degrees is not the best optimal performance for the uh, Osmo Action camera. All right, so here's our drone, or as they would say, Pablo Pico. And here we go with that. So now we're going to connect. Actually, the last thing you want to do is connect the battery because of the unit overheating. And then by the time you get set up and sunk, um, you're pretty much out of luck. All right, so the goggles are on right see that green light and then we're going to turn on that's the only downside to this drone i can't wait to take to take the other fpv out of the box after i get some more hours in 
to see how it actually, you know, meet, meet, lives up to the standards of like, do you have to sync the FPV as fast as possible before it overheats or is that just a Pavo Pico thing? All right. So on that note, let's, um, I'm going to go into the goggles so you can see what we see. Wait for it any minute. I'm just looking through the goggles to see. Oh, something beeped. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, now I can press record. Whoops. Great. So we have battery full, etc. The only thing I don't see is the temp oh, temperature is on the other side at the bottom. Okay, I don't need all three. I can fix that and delete one. All right, so now that we see that, we see the temperature, angle mode. Make sure you're in angle mode if you're a beginner, okay? For this part, I don't need to, um, just gonna move the goggles out of the way. So now, if I click arm, I believe, um, which one is arm? I forget. It'll arm, see that? It's arm, it's looking. See, and if I shut it off, you'll see the propeller stopped and started. And you know, remember the settings, I changed my settings so that I can fly lower because I'm not that experienced with the FPV, but still in angle mode. Make sure it's in angle mode, let's double check. Um, yep, we're in angle mode. All right, so on that note, for this flight, I don't really need the goggles because I'm just flying low to the ground. Goes left. Whoops. Yeah, so it works. Um, <laughs> it's just really tricky. I just need for it to fly slower. Um, you know, like, and I, I guess maybe I should be wearing the goggles for that. But still working on it still working on it I see everyone fly so smoothly with this drone and that was an angle mode but maybe it just works better with the goggles on right um, GPS unit popped off I've had to solder that a couple of times on there but I'll try it again I'm just gonna try slow and lower I'm just trying to fly higher high like a kite and see this is really cool because put the velcro thing on and then let it snap back in make sure you have enough space and sometimes after the crash, this won't start up again. Ah, oh, it started. Got lucky. I'm just going to do low. Okay. Whoops. All right. I couldn't see where I was going. All right, so on that note, I guess that's why they say where are the goggles um it's not like beta flight not beta flight what's it called um liftoff so on that note this is the fix slash solution to get things up and running again um like i said i don't give flying lessons but i will help you get your drone back up and running so i hope this video helped you and you're better able to have um not comparable experience to mine, but better than mine with your Pablo Pico. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Like if you feel like you want to hover, you go forward, backwards, so. Whoops. Yeah, something like that. All right, anyway, spin again. Whoops, that was pretty good sustained flight, you gotta say. Until next time.